Oops, okay. All right, well, I'm with the Blue Water Grill in Phoenix, and I'm gonna start with some background because it's been a while and there's some new faces, so I'm going to go with family because that's where it all starts. And uh, so that's Sergio Vasquez Jr. and he's very mad at me right now because he found out this is the picture I put up, uh, but he's my husband. We've been married for two and a half years. We met four and a half years ago, a uh, second timer for both of us, but this one's gonna stick. Um, so uh, to my going back to the real background, I decided to go, um, you know, 1978 called and they want their clothing back. So I believe this is 1978. That's me uh, right there. Um, that's my mom and dad and my brother Gary. My brother Gary is now a firefighter in the Bay Area, um, soon to retire here. Um, that's my mom. She was a stay at home mom. And that's my dad. Uh, he was a mechanic for 40 years. We were the typical leave it to beaver family. Um, and we, we lived in the Bay Area, just outside of San Francisco, close to Oakland, hence the Oakland uh, A's and Raiders. So uh, this next uh, picture, it's a little blurry because it's old. Um, I was daddy's girl. Uh, he was really my first love, um, all the way to the end. Uh, he taught me so much. He, uh, he was my biggest cheerleader. He was uh, just the rock. He always had the right answer, you know? Um, so that's us at my wedding. He was actually paralyzed there. No one knew it. He walked me down the aisle, um, but he was paralyzed from the waist down, but he was so determined to keep going. So he learned to walk again, ride his horse again. Um, so a lot of those things I hope I get from him. Um, so let's see, I'm trying to remember where am I next? Okay, this is the last selfie that we took. It was right after we found out that he got sick. Um, Halloween, I was at this meeting. I left here, I got the phone call. It had spread to his brain and uh, we had two months. So uh, I left and that's why I was gone for a while. Um, so it was quite a journey, but I got to be with him all the way to the end. In fact, I was supposed to do this on January 9th and that was the last day he ever spoke. So I'm so glad that I was there with him. And then he went into a deep sleep, like they said, and uh, passed away peacefully. Uh, my brother and I held his hand and got that last breath. Uh, we were able to do that with my mom. She um, passed away um, six years ago, but it was so quick. We were there, but it was quick. So it's kind of like the end of an era now. Um, the worry is this girl. This is Rain Cloud Princess. My dad's thousand pound princess. It's my love too. Um, I love this girl. She's struggling right now. She's with my brother. He's a horseman, so he's trying to get her settled. Uh, she's down in the Bay Area. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna figure that out. And uh, so that is that. So I wanted to uh, choose this. This is something I always have to remind myself of. If you choose not to find the joy in the snow, you'll have less joy in your life, but you'll still have the same amount of snow. And my dad kind of taught me that. And, you know, I've been through a lot 10 years ago. I was at the lowest point in my life, I thought, you know, and it was pretty bad, 2009. But uh, I climbed out and had to find the joy. So um, with that said, I'm now with the Blue Water Girl. Uh, so this, this is the Blue Water Girl in Phoenix. You've probably seen the swordfish hanging off the side of the road, uh, 51 I mean. It's actually older than the 51 freeway, but it used to be the fish market and I'll get into that in a little bit. We have a fresh seafood uh, market. You can come in, we get our fish uh, daily. Um, we also have an oyster bar, um, a, uh, a sushi bar. So uh, this is the original Blue Water Grill. It's in Newport. Um, so the owner of the Blue Water Grill is the son-in-law of the owner of the fish market. He's here in town. I talked with him yesterday. I've told this story before. Um, hopefully I have time. I don't even know where I'm at in time, but um, so I think I'm good. So anyway, the fish market started in the Bay Area by a man named Fred Duckett. Um, then he decided to build one here in 1986, which was the one I just had up. Um, he, uh, he left fish obviously, but uh, so his um, only daughter married a man named Rick who started the Blue Water Grill in Newport and they have several in California um, and that was established in 1996. And then um, fast forward to 2009, the fish market did not want to keep the one in Phoenix. And he ended up sitting on the board of the fish market because his father-in-law had died. So he, he told me yesterday when he repeated the story that I already knew, but to hear it from him, he kept emphasizing jobs, Helena. There were so many jobs. They'd been there for years. I had to save these jobs. So we saw the value in it. It was the worst time, 2009, to do it, but we did it. And he took over the debt and turned it into the Blue Water Grill. This is the Pilakia. The Pilakia is our harpoon boat. I've talked about it before. We get our own swordfish. That's kind of our signature um, swordfish. That's actually across from the Blue Water in Newport. 
and I'm going to hurry up here because I think I'm going to run out of time for what I want to do. Signature uh, chowder and this is what I do. So this is one of the uh, setups I did for what Cheryl sang at. It was a birthday party this month for a 60th birthday party. And then this was just an intimate dinner party in one of our smaller rooms. So with that said, this is my passion, setting the table. So I'm going to actually try to do that for you here. So like I said, I'm the one that touches everything, makes sure that it actually looks the way it's supposed to look. And since I don't really have room to fold a napkin, I brought one that's folded. And I don't have a table out here, so you're going to have to just imagine that you can see me doing it. No, you can put that right here. <laughs> it has to like look like right Adrian it yes. has to all look right so I know when everyone kind of you know no one really talks about setting the table it's something it was my first job I was four years old I had a stool I'd climb up and get everything and I'm sure my mom went after behind me and fixed everything because I probably didn't do it right but that's how I am with my staff now there's there is an art to it um you know, people have lost that art. There's a lot of history about it. It's kind of boring history, so I decided not to talk about it. But when you walk into an event or someone's house or wherever you go and you see a nice table setting, you know, there is, there's something about it because somebody was actually polishing glass. And there's anticipation about what's going to happen, you know, the, once the table is set. Could it be a celebration? Is it something like... Maybe it's something bad. Uh, maybe there was a problem. I mean, who knows? But it's bringing people together to break bread. So this isn't exactly how I planned it to go, but uh, but this is what we do. And it fascinates me that so many people don't know still that the knife goes on the right, <laughs> facing in, and the fork goes on the left. And you can get really elaborate with this, but I'm not going to do that today. So I'm just going to continue and set it. And um, now you guys know what I do. And I actually like to do it. So, um, but yeah, there's, there's a whole art to it. It's been lost. The very first, one of the things I did read was that the salt used to be a salt cellar. So it's not a salt shaker. And no one would sit down at a party until the, whoever was the guest of honor, the, the most important person, wherever that salt was, the salt cellar was, that person had to sit there. They didn't even use napkins back then. They should throw food on the ground. And <laughs> so it's, it's really evolved. So I was going to do this and actually have Madam President have a seat, but oh. we didn't have a lot of room. So that is, I think I have everything. Oh, gotta light the candle. All right, now it's done. All right, I'm all shaky. It's not lighting, though. There we go. All right, so and then I don't know what I did with the clicker now. Under the napkin. And then, so there you go. Come in, get hooked.